Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Hedykins, and we're here with another Jack of All Trades challenge. Today, we um, we still have everything at rank 1. We're going to be aiming to try to uh, level up our combat skill a little bit more. And so, we're going to go back into the we're going to go back into the mines and see if we can get that combat score to level 2. Um, also, our farm is looking pretty shabby here and uh so as soon as we open up the spa, I'd like to clear out a good portion of the farm and make it really pretty. <gasps> it's Vincent's birthday. Hold everything. Okay, so this kid likes daffodils. So if we find a daffodil, then he gets a birthday present. <laughs> It's just our closed on Wednesdays. Oh no, okay. I guess we're not replenishing our parsnips today. I don't see any daffodils. There's one. Okay, I'm gonna go give it to him and then head, to, head straight to the mines. I want to look for bugs, but mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. I'll tell you what. Happy birthday, kid. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Look, immediately up to a green. You're welcome, kid. Bye. Alright, here we go. floor 20 okay oh and finally a spot to fish in the mines <gasps> it's midnight okay I gotta go I gotta go <laughs> it's time to go Woo. we spent all day in the mines so that had better level up our that had better level up our um, combat skill we have other skills that we need to work on Okay, this way is still blocked off. But as soon as that opens up, we're gonna make our farm look real nice. Instead of, you know, how it looks now. <laughs> okay, so I think, actually, yeah, we did. We just got a new sword. It's still a little bit better than our current sword. So we're gonna use it. We did it! Yes! Level 2 combat! <gasps> we got level 2 mining as well! Yes! Okay. That's excellent. That's excellent. We'll take that. We didn't earn a lot, but we earned something. We'll take that too. Okay, so let's work on some other skills unless the uh, unless the bath has opened, but I don't think it has. It's a good luck day. Was from crows? Sounds like you need a scarecrow. 
No, I think we're good. I think we have our scarecrows. We have a scarecrow. <gasps> and our potatoes grew! Missing. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. Here's 250 gold in it for whoever finds the thing. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to remember where it is. Last time she was using it, she was cutting wood south of Marnie's ranch. Okay. Let's do some foraging today then. So we'll just gather up these potatoes and then we'll head down there. We have to get more crops though. Nothing going on today, but in two days we have the egg festival. That's not gonna help us build up our skills any. A largemouth bass. For potion making, please deliver directly to my study. I think we can do that. Oh, we have six geodes that we need to process, and we gotta buy seeds. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do today. Okay, we need more parsnips. Take ten of those. And we have- we need potatoes. I guess we could grow a flower. Let's grow some- let's grow jazz. A jazz flower. There you go. Hi, Clint. Business has been slow lately. You should upgrade your tools. I could use the cash. Honestly, same. <laughs> okay, let's process. Th I can't process the geodes. I can't afford it. Okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> I think. I think the Adventurer's Guild is open. I could sell my old sword. Opens at two. All right, fishing time. There it is! I got one! Excellent. So come in here. Hello, let's go ahead and sell that. Silver Saber, ooh. Okay. And now I could process half of my geodes, but instead I think I'll hang on to them. Parsnip season, isn't it? It sure is, my dude. I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors with plants all day. I wonder, is, is he a botanist? I know he's a scientist, but I thought he was into, um... I thought he was into other things. I thought he was into minerals. But he might be a botanist. Hello, Mayor. The saloon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes we even put a coin in the jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, Carolyn. Hmm, I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. I mean, it's worth asking. Hi, Emily. I hope you're farming in a sustainable way. The valley's ecosystem is fragile. Well, I assume that I am. How do I know? I have a strong gut feeling. Well, I mean, I think I am. I'll be making cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. Oh, Evelyn, you precious. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. That's a hint. She gives you her recipe when you're friends. There it is. Found the lost axe. Better return it to Robin. I absolutely will. I don't know if I'll be able to do that today, actually, because of how much time it takes to explore this area. And I have a very time-sensitive one, so I've got to take that one first. Hello, wizard. There are many mysteries around us. You must be patient if you wish to discover them. Fair enough. Um, let's get this ready for him. 
Ah, the item I requested. Your work was satisfactory. Here is your compensation. You're welcome. 300 gold. And the wizard will be thankful. Oh. Sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. Hey, there I am, coming from the wrong direction, but that's okay. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, miss. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure to give them a good scare so they never come back. It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel, I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. You can go on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Okay. See you later, lioness. Wait. Well, he's so scared. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. I think that ended well. I think that ended well. Because now he knows that I care, and he knows that Gus cares. I think that's, that's really important. Especially when you feel like you're completely outcast for picking a different lifestyle than everybody else. It's really important to have that kind of, uh, that kind of support. Okay, I do need one of these, but no, I need a wild horseradish. That's the only thing I still need. That's a, that's a project for another day. But one of the two things that I checked did need to be put in here, and we got to, we got to get some closure for Linus. So now we don't have to worry about if Linus is getting enough to eat or not. Because Gus is going to feed him at least once a day. That is so good get a bar started and then go to bed productivity <gasps> yes level two farming everything's leveling up this episode <laughs> we got level two foraging as well oh my gosh survival burger mm. fishing what? We've leveled up everything! We've leveled up everything! And we've have, we have so much money from those potatoes. Yesterday was such a productive day. That was such a productive day. I can't believe how productive that was. Hold on. Hold on. I have to look. Level 2 of everything! Oh. I have... S have you settled into your new farm life yet? I can't believe you're all grown up now. Time sure flies. Now that you're gone, I have all this extra money laying around, so I included a little gift. Love, Dad. Oh, this is so sweet. Especially since my dad's birthday was yesterday, as of the day I'm recording this. So happy birthday, Dad. Dear Hetty, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9 and 2 if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt, Mayor Lewis. Whoa, hello. Okay. Dear Farmer Hetty, 
I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw material and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Oh my gosh. That is so nice. Everyone's sending me letters. <laughs> Okay, let's see about getting another co copper bar started. Because we can almost upgrade something. Well then, what are we going to work on today? Let's see. Um, it's not a good day for combat, really. So I guess we could work on fishing. But first let's go and break these geodes open. Maybe I'll fish in the river there. So we didn't level up our fishing today, but that's okay, because we leveled up our fishing yesterday. We're doing pretty well for ourselves. We're finally earning some money. We're able to get a couple of things. We still need to get to level 40 in the mines. We need to get a coop, which means we need to get a silo so we can feed them. And everything is level 2. I think with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Next episode, we're going to be starting off during a festival. And if we can get the um, if we can get the bath open, then we'll go ahead and, and do a little overhaul of the farm here and try to make it as pretty as we can. Go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it. And feel free to subscribe. It's completely free. And then you'll be notified every time we have a new video. And in the meantime, guys, that's it for me. Have a good day. See you next time.